Okay, um, there's one more thing I was going to say here, by the way. Uh, when we take the string of variables here, and so we've just uh, transformed into the pr uh, unprimed frame, so we've taken those operators here. I just want to go through the whole train of thought here, and I, I want to ensure that everything that we have turns out to be the same dimensionality. So, again, we start with a column vector. We operate it with a 4 by 4 That gives us back a column vector. So that's literally the same thing as y equals mx, with y and x as column vectors, m as a matrix. So that's a column vector. Then we operate it with the Minkowski metric, which is a uh, 4 by 4. That's still a column vector. And then the transpose of the Lorentz matrix is still a 4 by 4. So everything we have here is a column vector. And then the last thing, once we've transposed that matrix into its row form, that's when we have that just the first element's add, the second element's add, the third element's add, the fourth element's add. So it does, in fact, give us out a scalar. And that's true in all dimensionalities, as long as you're working with, you know, the, the, the proper transformation matrices, matrices of the same dimension, the n by n, for an n-dimensional space-time. Um, okay, we are getting a, a bit theoretical here, but that's good. That's where we should be. So, okay. Um, now, again, as a reminder, we've gotten to the point where if that's true, if that combination is just eta, then we know that those space-time intervals have to match. And here's the nice easy part of it. Let's just evaluate it. I'm going to take the transpose of this, which, as you recall, gamma, 1, 1, gamma. Now, and actually, I will put the normal non-transposed one there. Here's going to be our other 4 by 4 gamma, 1, 1, gamma. This was minus gamma v. This was minus gamma v over c squared. And the Minkowski matrix is 1, 1, 1, minus 1. Okay, so again, the way to work linear algebra is to work from the right to the left. So it's a 4 by 4, 4 by 4, 4 by 4. And now we know that the ha that has to give us out of 4 by 4. That's absolutely going to be true. And let's look at this, turning this 4 by 4 times 4 by 4 into another 4 by 4. Now we'll keep that first one there. Gamma, 1, 1, gamma. And we had, by the way, the transpose of that, which I didn't finish filling in, minus gamma v and minus gamma v over c squared. So you literally just flip the two off diagonals. Okay, so we have that same matrix there. And now the transform of that. This is where, okay, so like literally just pause this and think it through yourself for a moment. When you multiply this and by the way, all of the dots here are going to indicate zeros. <laughs> I think that works out. Uh, when you take that matrix there and then flip it and, and multiply it, do, do it for yourself. Just think it, out for, think it out for yourself out loud in your head. This is where you should see the, 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 the finished aha. Uh, now, if you haven't, we'll go through it. Let's take this first column here, and we need to flip it, and then we go through down here. Now, that first column... When we flip gamma, uh, gamma, zero, zero, oops, and then we have a minus gamma over c squared. And then now we go through the second one, zero, one, one, zero, oops, sorry, zero, one, zero, zero that for the third column, and then for the fourth one, now we have minus um, gamma v. Oh, by the way, that first time through, when I went through that, that last term there, the minus gamma v over c squared turns into a plus minus v over c squared. 
And that, um, let's see. No, that's correct. So we have a minus gamma V, zero, zero. And now we have a minus gamma. And now the last bit of this, again, now we have a four by four times a four by four. So it's gonna be very slightly messy, but there's gonna be a lot of cancellations that we get. So the first element of this, let's work this out. The very first element, it's gonna be a, I'll just give us plenty of space. We're gonna take that first column, gamma times gamma. So gamma squared, but at the same time, that's minus gamma squared v squared over c to the fourth. And then the next line, the next two, uh, the next two lines, zero, zero. And then we do the same thing here. So it's gonna take a little bit of work. Um, now there's only four entries that are non-trivial here, just the corners again. So I'm just gonna kinda do this out, uh, I'm gonna do this out loud in my head, and not do it out loud. Uh, and same thing, just as you work through it here. So, let's see. So again, this is something that you really can't just, you know, memorize or anything like that, you have to work it out. Now, there's a lot of some things that you see in common here. Um, there's an awful lot of uh, gamma squareds. There's an awful lot of V over C's, V squareds over C squareds. Um, but here's what I encourage you to do. Uh, I'm not gonna prove the rest of this here directly, but I do want to kind of give you one example. Let's just take this first element. And I'm gonna leave the, the rest of the three for you to work out on your own. And worried I might be off by a factor. So what I'm gonna do in the end is I'm gonna set C equal to one. Um, you, you'll see why that will make a difference here. But let's take that first element, the, the, uh, the one comma one element. And remember gamma squared is just one over one minus B squared over C squared. So this becomes, so we have gamma squared and by the way that's one minus v squared over c to the fourth. So I just absorbed the, uh, or I, I factored out the gamma squared. So this becomes now one over one minus v squared over c squared times one minus v squared over c to the fourth. So what I, what I realized by, by uh, using our coordinates in, uh, in terms of x, y, z and c, t, I've, I've already, I, we were off by a factor of uh, C, uh, C by the, C at the beginning. So for all of these Vs, there should be another factor of C below it to, to make our units work out properly. Um, so if I had to do this over again, I would actually just go out and I would leave out all the factors of C entirely. If we're working the proper units though, if C equals one, meaning one light year per year, one light second per second. In other words, if we're working the proper coordinate systems, we can replace all the factors of C with one. So at this point here, if we literally just let C equal one, and if we measure velocity in terms of factor of speed of light, so uh, it goes from zero to one. At this point here, we have that whole factor, one over one minus V squared times one minus V squared. So we just dropped the factors of C. And that's why I was worried that I realized the units wouldn't work out because I hadn't added the proper factor of C there. But it turns out this just equals one. So the entire upper left diagonal, you can replace this whole thing with just one. I encourage you to work this one out. Turns out when you work this out, you're gonna have a nice perfect cancellation. You get zero. Same thing here, and right here, you get negative one. So as it turns out, when you work this out, that's exactly what you, you can do when you actually properly apply those factors of gamma and, and Vs. This does in fact equal the Minkowski metric. 
And when you show that properly for each of those four terms, you see that exactly that ds squared prime equals ds squared. So that is the proof. And again, the, the only reason we're not going through this is just for sake of time there. But I guarantee those do work out as it does. So that's why it's so important to have some statement that everyone agrees on. People don't agree on lengths being contracted. People don't agree on times being dilated. But they do agree on that difference of space minus time. They do, they do agree on this space-time separation, no matter what coordinate system they're using to compute it, everyone has a universal agreed-upon variable they can transmit information, and that's why this is so important here.